you will ignore the horribly messy desk behind me and the really messed up red colors in this video. Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to install custom firmware on your PS3. The requirements are as follows. 1. A PS3. Yep, you can install this on any firmware you like. 3.55, 3.1, 1.0, 3.14. If that's a firmware, it doesn't matter uh, because in the end you have to update the 3.55 to do this anyway, so no problem. Um, a couple of concerns I'd like to address before we go into this. Well, when I say concerns, I mean uh, interesting stuff and things you should fear for your life about. First off, the software you're about to use uh, obviously comes with no warranty or etc. Uh, it's basically a beta released by the great Geohot, who is now facing certain legal difficulties with Sony. Wouldn't worry though, uh, GeoHot has done nothing illegal, so he's in the clear. Secondly, if you use this software and you barbecue your PS3, or you get banned from PSN, or your house explodes for no apparent reason, uh, I'm not responsible. Thirdly, it will allow you to run Homebrew, unsigned code, as well as your own backups under certain circumstances. Uh, now when I say backups, I mean your own legally purchased games. So consider the possible repercussions before going on a 28 billion pirated game downloading spree. When Sony's Men in Black come knocking at your doorstep, here's what you tell them. I do not know anyone by the name of Troy2062. These are not the droids you are looking for. But seriously, with the release of the root key from Sony, um, this does pretty much open up the whole console. So at least do the developers the courtesy of buying their games, because we don't want the PS3 to die like the Dreamcast, do we? So, now that you're finished ignoring my little warning, let's get started. This thing here is a PS3, and it's running firmware 3.41. Um, I actually downgraded it from 3.55. Uh, little did I know I'd now be upgrading it once again. But we've got to upgrade this PS3 to 3.55 in order to uh, perform our um, custom firmware installation. So to do that, uh, simply log on to Sony.com or whatever it is now, and download their 3.55 update. Stick it on a USB stick in a folder called Update, in a folder called PS3, and run the update on your console. Damn it, I can't stand it when downloads take all day, stupid slow internet connection, copper based telephone line, aircon piece of... Done. Okay, so very simple. Here we've got our USB drive, and here we've got our update. Right click in there, we'll make a new folder. Call it PS3. And then inside that folder, oops. Correction, PS3, not PS Pound, PS3. And inside there, inside that folder, make a new one called Update. All done. Open it up, drag and drop in our updater file. And through the wonder of a certain device manufactured by Lona, we will now go and uh, install system updates. Buy its storage media. I probably don't need to do this, you've probably done this a hundred times over by now. Okay. I'll skip the boring parts. Okay, so the update has now installed. We'll go and check to verify that now. System settings. System information, and there you go, we're in 3.55. This one is rather simple. We'll go to geohot.com, old front page, click jailbreak. So now with the new uh, update downloaded, we insert the USB drive back into our PC, and we will copy, we can find it here, updater, PS3, update, and we'll copy the new one onto the uh, hard drive for flash drive replace and now we connect this to the PS3 all right time to install some custom firmware so uh, we go back up to system update update via storage media click OK sorry about the video cutting out I'm using uh, an old SD card I filled up the current one so hit start Copying data.
PS3 beeps once, twice, three times, four times, five times. Okay, I'm not going to count anymore. The PS3 has turned itself off. I'm going to turn it back on now. The console is now booting. Quick note, you may need to disconnect your console after it powers off. Not sure. I didn't need to, but then again, I can't say everyone else will do the same. Okay, so go K. Okay. okay, so now we have the ability to install package files. There we go, your PS3 is now permanently jailbroken on 3.55. You can only install signed homebrew packages, which is not a problem because the key has been leaked um, by Geohot, like I said. And of course, you can sign your own packages very easily. For more info on package files, installing applications and the like, see my next video, which is not online soon, but it will be. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please do subscribe if you found this useful, and I will see you next time. Live long and prosper.